Here I go. All right, bring it on. What's good, everybody out there on YouTube? This is your man, Shattuck Stick, dropping some hot Faraga on this mic. I'm joined by my boy, Avatar Yaya, today to talk about Pokemon E3 predictions. Say what's good, Yaya. What's good, everybody? I want to let y'all know that I have not touched anything Pokemon since Pokemon Sun and Moon. So it's been about two years, but I'm ready for Pokemon Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Same here. Your boy was hurt by uh, Ultra Sun and Moon, so he was just like, <laughs> oh, nah, B, we're waiting until the Switch. So we're getting Pokemon on the Switch we know at least within the next two or three years because it was confirmed last year at uh, E3 that there was a Pokemon uh, core RPG game being worked on exclusively for Nintendo Switch so hopefully we get that but I want to talk about what our predictions are for this game and what we think this is going to come out of E3 this year for Pokemon. You, uh, why don't you just start off uh, yeah yeah. Okay so it's kind of weird because we haven't had a legit like 3D like Pokemon game since it's like I don't know like at least open world like like XD Yellow Darkness or Pokemon um, Coliseum you know so I'm thinking a big prediction here is that the Pokemon game will possibly be the next generation of Pokemon reason why is because recently a lot of people have been speculating that Pokemon will go back to Kanto which yeah we all love our little bits and pieces of Kanto However, they're gonna have to really reimagine and remake. Shout out to Kingdom, of <laughs> but remake the whole thing of Kanto because at this point it will seem like they're milking Kanto. What I'm thinking is going to be is they're going to make the generation what it would be eight, will be eight or nine, um, eight. Yeah, Gen 8, and they're going to try to make homage to the Kanto region, and I think that'll be a beautiful twist to bring in older players of Pokemon that's been there since the last 20 years uh, <laughs> for the younger generation that's coming up with Sun and Moon and even X and Y. So I think the gameplay is going to be traditional Pokemon, but on, on a graphical level, we've never seen. Well, what I believe is that um, I actually kind of believe uh, the opposite in terms of the gameplay because of the recent rumors we've been getting and people and you know we're getting sources saying oh this is going to be a revamp po pokemon battle system if this is a po po revamp pokemon battle system i feel like they would show that off at e3 um i actually kind of want to see something that's uh reminiscent of uh final fantasy 10's uh ctb that's something that i kind of want to see in pokemon because i feel like it would make for more strategic gameplay but uh overall Ooh, hopefully i didn't think of that yeah see like like i i kind of thought about it and i was just like i don't like we were talking in the previous video with derpy etc how uh he he was coming up with the concept that maybe it would be like the atb system in uh 13 and, and final fantasy final fantasy 7 and final fantasy 13 but what i feel like is actually going to be something that's you know it keeps the core uh let's say uh team uh turn-based structure in terms of just like yeah. uh, attacking and waiting uh so it's not so much of an active battle to fight and uh having to keep you on your toes rather than having the players uh uh, moves be stacked up say for instance in a predetermined order based off of character speed and priority so you know you have to come up with more strategic ways to play the game and that's one thing i really applauded final fantasy 10 for was this battle system because I, I really did like it and it's something that's carried over into other games such as like the hyper dimension neptunia series so to see so it wouldn't be uncommon for a jrpg to have a battle system like that especially pokemon since pokemon has kind of felt like it's the grand granddaddy of all uh, it's let me not say the granddaddy but it's the, kind of what pushed the like monster capture rpgs into the limelight you know without that i feel uh, without pokemon i really don't feel like games like the smt series you know including games like persona would have uh got pushed uh as far as they did if pokemon basically didn't exist so to see them revamp the battle system with something like that isn't too far off the you know too far off of uh whatever you know to see it happen because it's not well, uncommon now. Well, I think that could be a case. But however, I feel like they, they're going to want to play it safe. It is the first Pokemon Switch game. Even if it's revamped, I think what they're going to do is they're trying to make the, the battle um component, like the animations and stuff, and the in-between more so dynamic. Think about it. When you have a basic Pokemon battle, it's you versus the player. And you versus the player, it's turn-based. But what happens is nothing is going on in between the whole standby phase. They're probably going to make it more like, you know, things are happening on the screen, 
battles are changing, the arenas is shifting, things are actually happening. Instead of just the standby phase just being like so, you know, static and static yeah and i think they're gonna probably like say for instance say if i had a pikachu versus um what's a pikachu versus a water type you know yeah or any water type and what they could do is they can make it to where like in the battle because in the recent pokemon games they have been like coming back and telling people yo this is your pokemon's weakness they've been really like draining that into people's heads but what if they use that to showcase that in battle in animation style or like Pikachu oh, fighting, yeah. fighting like a Magikarp, and then like you can see like Pikachu can defeat the Magikarp because by Magikarp twitching with static effect and status alignment, rather yeah. as like just something just base, just like hey, your turn. <laughs> like I don't know. I feel like they're gonna do a lot more with the animations and just battle overall in this game, not change the core gameplay, not yet. You know what? I, I actually can see that happening. One thing that I really do want to see them th do though is like uh, hopefully they uh, do this in the. Tra in the uh, trailer or show this uh, us this because the previous uh console iterations of pokemon have never been based off of the 1v1 pokemon battle system they've always been uh the 2v2 and as you guys know there are more battle styles than that especially with black and white black and white i think did the most in terms of the battle system uh revamping mm -hmm. and revitalizing it and adding stuff to it it's just that black and black and white they were uh, it felt like they were afraid to go the full mile and implement it you know completely into the gameplay so if you don't know in black and white triple battles and rotation battles were introduced and it was a cool dynamic to see because you could own in rotation battles one pokemon was attacking and you could only attack two of the pokemon the other pokemon in the back could not be attacked so it required a lot more strategy on part of the player and i want to see them possibly implement it uh in the in this new pokemon game because while it's technically still a handheld pokemon game it's going to be the first hd release of a pokemon game on your television so to see that would be a mate when i say a pokemon game i mean a pokemon rpg let me let me let me correct myself before we go yeah, on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like like it, it's it's one of those things where i feel like they're gonna take the extra mile maybe if they don't want to like do too much to the core gameplay they may show off hey we're doing rotation battles and triple battles now for the standard of the game like how an xd gullet darkness pokemon stadium pokemon battle revolution and uh pokemon uh uh uh, that's a Coliseum, XD Gull of Darkness, whatever. But how, how yeah. they did in those games, they were focusing on double battles, not single battles. Like, while single battles may have been in there, like, you didn't play it because it the single you had the standard single battle system in Pokemon, because there was really no sort of system for wild Pokemon encounters, especially in XD Gull of Darkness and Coliseum. You just kind of fought trainers along the way, and you had Coliseum battles where you played double battles. And that was the big focus of the game. It added another layer, a, a a better dynamic in sense of uh battle and combat and that's something i want to see added in pokemon switch with maybe triple battle or rotation battle so yeah yeah you have any other uh predictions uh for pokemon um, nintendo switch one last thing i'm thinking about and it's something that slept on in a recent pokemon game something that i was really enthusiastic about that a lot of people may or may not have not liked about them um you know how pokemon i think i think it was yeah, i think the first one was no it was x and y actually x and y they had sky battles were like introducing like sky yeah. battles one of they take that ideal and apply it to all of the gameplay like you could oh be sky God, battles and then like it could be like a day you you use dig and from your perspective you see underground and the pokemon strainer or like you know so many cool things they could do with it or what's another a status and i mean like bounce and on the nintendo switch it has like the um hd rumble the pokemon like the switch can bounce while it's using the move bounce or if you use fly you fly up in the sky and you know like how in um what certain games that i can't think of a game like it can have a q2 uh like a quick time event and it can also boost like the ability to get like crits and stuff like like that like nerf some oh, yeah, yeah. that get it i like that you I know like I, I i i just want to see like they might add more to like moves to make them get crits like if you execute it blah 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 this way like yeah it'll do normal damage regardless like, they're not gonna be dumb and just be like oh every move you do if you execute it um perfectly you get a crit what i'm saying is if people don't understand me if you play kingdom hearts dream drop distance you have little like flow motion things where like you touch you tap the screen or if you plan on ps4 you tap the touchpad and you can go slide somewhere what if they use that for the attack battles and like make things more dynamic for the player instead of just being just turn based you also have extra stuff to do in battle to keep you entertained as well like it could be always something different 
that yeah, add never depth thought about to that. fighting. Like, like yeah, it, so. say for instance, like, um, like, like I just kind of thought about it because you said sky battles, and I remembered. I kind of thought the sky battles were really cool. You had to have a Pokemon that could fly to participate in them. Maybe in like they say, like, uh, say for instance, you're in the water, you have to have Pokemon that can swim. You know what I mean? To actually be utilized yeah. in battle, like, and that doesn't have to be, com uh, you know, applied to the competitive online atmosphere. You could have one generic, you know, battlefield where every Pokemon can coexist, and you know, you can use them and they'll be useful in battle but what i'm trying to say is I, I i don't i feel like there are they like like you i feel like how you feel yeah yeah there's so much more they could do with the world of pokemon and how they can expand upon what uh there is in pokemon and i kind of am glad uh that you said that because i, I really want to see something like that return because I'm, I'm i'm thinking like uh not to just drag it out but i'm thinking that like if they take sky battle so like, say for instance i'm gonna give y'all like a little scenario right favorite move one of my favorite pokemon moves is bubble right one of you do bubble say <laughs> y'all like why is bubble his favorite move? i just like bubbles okay so you use bubble with squirtle and then when you use bubble you tap the bubbles on the screen bam you ability rate 10 percent extra for getting a crit you know like the chances of getting the crit 10 percent. you just tap the um nintendo switch screen or you use the joy cons to pop the bubbles i don't know there's so much you could do bro I, I just hope they like capitalize on this because it switches the platform to at least experiment and try you know but not change the gameplay too much i'm not expecting like a huge gameplay like overhaul where they change the turn base but i do think they're gonna add a lot more to what you see in battle versus to being stagnant back and forth because you realize that i don't know if they're coming back but z moves <laughs> z moves are like hype I don't care anybody says Z moves are really hyping Pokemon. But think about them just incorporating something like that where they made those more interactable. Like say if you were doing like Gigavolt Havoc and you just have to drop like a letter, like sh like shake the Joy-Cons or something like that to charge it up and boom. You know, I don't know. It's so many possibilities, but I think they're gonna do something big. That's my big prediction. They're gonna do something big with Pokemon gameplay. Cause Pokemon always shocks people with new innovations. And that's something I like about Game Freak in the whole. So that's all I got. Yeah, like, like, uh, you know, to wrap this up, like, uh, in terms of predictions, I really like, like we said, they're gonna show up something in gameplay. You know, you said uh, you believe there's gonna be Gen 8, and, and like, I'm hoping for um, a new generation. Uh, if not, let's get uh, the the uh, what is it called, the remakes for Sinnoh. But um, just in terms of like graphics, I feel like they're gonna take this one to the next level. Uh, the last game to really push the uh, the in terms of a uh an rpg uh you know a core rpg style of pokemon game in terms of combat was pokemon battle revolution the pokemon moved when they did the attacks like they would walk up to the pokemon and do attacks and while there still wasn't much going on in the middle of those phases it was still pretty cool to see on your television screen so hopefully like you said they do more they do more with the animations they have more going on on the screen because it, it, it's gonna be one of those situations where this game like the game just can't be stagnant while it's going on on your tv or something like that people are gonna yeah. expect something that's really that there's a really an evolution upon uh what we've gotten in uh, in pokemon games in the past and i hope hopefully we get that now to just end this video off i want to say this is a conversation what do you guys think is going to come out of this do you think we're going to get uh, a completely overhaul pokemon game do you think there is going to be you know they're not really going to change anything and they're just going to give us uh, a, new, uh, a new pokemon game and say hey here's a new mini game that's it or do you think they're going to give us some something that's in between something that that you know pushes the envelope but still Still is familiar to all the fans. This is Bean Man Shaddock Stick and your boy Avatar Yaya. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my boy Yaya's channel again. You know, my boy, boys at that 3K mark. I highly appreciate him coming on. And, you know, hopefully, you know, your, your boys, uh, we all out here grinding. You know, you support the boy Yaya and his grind. And uh, he, he does what he wants on this channel. So I, I really do appreciate you coming on, Yaya. And um, this is me, again, this is me, Man Shaddock Stick. Hot Faraga turns the cold Bazaga. Go chill out with some of my other videos. Peace. Kiss. Kiss.